Howdy doody kids, Scipio2 here. Got a little new video I'm putting together here. What I've got in this case, which is an MTM case guard by the way, you can pick these up for about five or six bucks. They make a nice handy dandy lockable uh, storage solution and transport solution for your handguns. Obviously not the uh, factory box that this pistol came in, but um, anyway, what I've got here is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Series. This is a 9mm little pocket rocket of sorts. You remember last week we talked about the new Glock in 380. This is actually just about the exact same size as that Glock, but a full 9mm as opposed to the 380. Look how slim this thing is. Essentially the Shield is a slim version of an M&P. And again, it's 9mm is clear and um, had this in the uh, workshop to uh, have a few little performance upgrades done to it I was just going to discuss those the uh, guns pretty standard you probably know a whole lot about it whatever blah 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 but um, what we've got here is the Apex Tactical Solution Action Enhancement Kit and Aluminum Trigger. Much like all the M&P pistols, if you shot one, you know the triggers on them are horrible. This is an all-aluminum replacement trigger, mostly flat bowed, as you can see here, with a shorter pull, a lighter pull, and a quicker reset. Basically, it's drop-in, and then the... Uh, new retimed sear that's hardened and a uh, replacement spring for that uh, replacement trigger spring for the trigger as well and a uh, <clears throat> striker block right here which is replaced it's more dome topped so it creates a smoother less drag of a uh, action and whatnot softens up the actual trigger pull um, and a spring that coincides with that. Part of what I did on top of putting in these parts was to polish the uh, striker's uh, contact face, polish that safety, polish the trigger bar and all of its contact points, as well as slightly radiusing and polishing the uh, timing arm which is what runs on that safety for the striker blocker and that uh, determines its fire point um, haven't shot it yet but just dry firing it and, and uh, toying with the trigger vast improvement over the stock the, <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's almost as good as the uh, um, comparable trigger for the regular M&P that they make. Here's your take up. That's it. Um, their trigger I put in my personal M&P 9 love it love it and this is almost as good not quite as light not quite as short but uh, I suspect that's probably a good thing with a small pocket pistol type uh, deal so anywho that's what we were doing in the uh, shop this week again this is the 9mm M&P shield for all intents and purposes it's just like a regular M&P only slimmer as you can see no interchangeable palm swells and they're standard with the safety which is uh, optional on most of the M&P pistols but uh, yeah <coughs> excuse me fun shooting gun very compact very uh, stowable if you will not that expensive uh, again this isn't my personal gun but I believe the owner told me he picked it up for uh, 
under 400 I think he said something like 375 or 350 uh, came with three mags two eight rounders that have the uh, finger well extensions and then one seven rounder with just a standard flat plate and then a cardboard box and some locks and paperwork but uh, we put them in one of these <clears throat> excuse me MTM uh, gun guard cases and like I said these are uh, pretty nice inexpensive I'm sorry I said gun guard but it's actually case guard very inexpensive you pick these up for probably five or six bucks I think and uh, you know lockable so you got kind of a dual purpose thing going on here uh, talking about the gun talking about the uh, trigger action enhancement kit and uh, MTM cases so you're getting a full bevy today but uh, that's what we had going on this week in the shop uh, just a little heads up wanted to make a little video show and tell and that's it in the meantime God bless take care please like and subscribe